This is the Traders Exclusive Live Trader Showcase for March 2024. Uh, this is a quarterly event where we feature expert traders to bring you training and insights from 20 different expert traders. So please check out tradersexclusive.com where we regularly post articles and video clips with valuable trading tips and techniques. You should carefully consider whether trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances, knowledge, and financial resources. You may lose all or more of your initial investment. Opinions, market data, and recommendations are subject to change at any time. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. So I want to thank you all for being with us again. I'd like to introduce Anka Metcalf. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for spending an hour with me right now. All right, good afternoon, everybody. Good morning, good evening, depending on where you guys are at. It's a great day to be in the market. Last night, I mean, yesterday afternoon, we had the FOMC uh, rate decision. The Fed uh, did not raise the rates. The market skyrocketed, and we have all-time highs through uh, everything, almost all, all the indices and the stocks are very happy right now. A um, little bit of turbulence now with Apple with uh, being hit by some uh, uh, some news. But uh, other than that, it's another great day in the market. And today I will be sharing with you how to build a million dollar portfolio while working full time. And if you think like, oh, my gosh, I don't have a penny in my pocket right now. How am I going to build a million dollars? I will show you how to do it. And uh, I'm just going to get started right now. All right. So first off, before we begin, just let me share with you the fact that all information that is provided by me today, by myself um, and my company, Trade Out Loud, is for educational purpose only. And I'm pretty sure you guys know that trading involves a really high level of risk. It's not suitable for all investors. All right. And traders. So Here's a little bit about myself. I'm a professional independent trader focused on day trading, swing trading, and investing in stocks and futures for the last 20 years. Um, 20 years ago, I've decided to go full throttle into creating and generating my own income. So I went into day trading. I come with investing investment banking background. It was a totally different ball game. I think it would, I, I thought it would have been uh, easier to transition from the investing side to the day trading side. It was not the case. It took me about two to three years to become completely profitable uh, in my day trading activity. Uh, but I did continue my investing uh, in stocks. I continue cont contributing to my accounts and I continue to swing trade. These are things that I have uh, continuously done very successfully. Um, I also run two very successful programs. The first program that um, I have started Trade Out Live with back in 2010 is the Stock Swing Trader Service that has been running very strong. And we're going to talk about this program today as well. And also run a swing trading service uh, for uh, a, a day trading service for active uh, traders that can trade the power hour with me in the morning for about an hour every single day. And that is for futures. This is my newly adopted uh, little gig in 2017 uh, on the recommendations of my accountant, uh, specifically because of tax purposes. Uh, I was a, a stock day trader my whole entire career. So I just switched full time to day trading uh, futures because of the um, uh, of, of account because of an account purposes. I specialize in high velocity trades and I will share with you today. I have a really cool agenda for you guys. You can, you know, apply it very quickly into the market um, today, actually. And as we move along into the following uh, weeks so or why not into the brand new quarter, because we have one more week and we're going to wrap up this quarter. Hard to believe that, you know, three months went by so, so fast. Um, my system is based on a little bit differently than anybody else uh, out there. It's based on price port resistance, but there's a catch. I use eight layers of price port resistance uh, and uh, I look for confluence areas. So confluence areas are areas that are created by two or more uh, support or resistance areas based on which if the price pulls back into, uh, it will create a higher degree of uh, rotation at that point and it will offer a continuation, a much stronger continuation because let's face it either when you're day trading or swing trading or even when you're investing you want to be in stocks that are liquid in stocks that are solid in stocks that 
actually can achieve growth fast, right? You want that instant gratification. Um, I've developed some trigger times throughout the uh, throughout the sessions, and this is uh, in uh, regards to day trading. And of course, I pay attention to the specific price zones because there are four specific price zones where institutional traders love to leg in, scale in, or even ease out of trades. All right, so let's get started, everybody. If you guys want to learn more about Trade Out Loud, I'm not going to bore you here, but please uh, make sure to follow us on X, on Facebook, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, on uh, X. I do share some trading ideas um, a lot of times with traders, and uh, you can find a lot of value there as well. Uh, all right, so here's my agenda for today. First of all, how to start making your money work for you. Wouldn't you like to sit back and just uh, let your money do the heavy lifting while you're working full time or whether you're on the beach, at the beach or hitting the ski slopes, you wanna make your money working uh, work for you. Even if you have 50 bucks in your pocket right now, I can show you how you can get started. Uh, best trade setups for explosive gains uh, and uh, that are happening weeks before, that, that we can identify weeks before they actually happen. I'm gonna be sharing with you the focus time frames for best trading results. Uh, I'm gonna be sharing with you my personal trade selection criteria for about 23 years, 25 years that I have used and I have successfully used and not only that I uh, trade uh, with the same system that I have been trading 23 years ago because hey, if you have a system that is working, don't do a thing. Uh, but a lot of my, uh, all of my members find it with value. And I have some examples with you because I could show you like testimonials and all that stuff, but you could actually get in touch with all of, uh, of our members. All right, so uh, how to spot make up opportunities, even in the worst market environments, because let's face it, when the market is pulling back, you know, the conditions are not very optimum and uh, you need to have a certain degree of patience, discipline, and to have a keen eye and set your alerts, not to get distracted by uh, anything else. And, you know, kind of like set the entry areas where you would like them, but let's get started, everybody. Uh, I'm going to share something that is really interesting and it's, I want you guys just to take some notes and this is going to really open your eyes. It's going to be literally crazy pants awesome. Did you guys know that if you deposited $7,000 in an investing account when your kid was born and simply invested in the S&P 500 by the time your kid is 65, so your kid is at the retiring age, he would have $1 million, over $1 million without touching that investment ever and ever contributing, never, ever, ever contributing another penny to that specific account. So your kid is born $7,000 in the account, boom, you don't have to do anything. And when your kid is 65, look at the amount. Remember, without lifting a finger, this is the power of money, and this is how the money can be working for you. And if this is if you invest, for example, in the S&P 500. This is like really laid back. You don't have to do any kind of scanning, any kind of work, literally nothing. But you're going to say, you know what? I don't have $7,000 right now. Things are tough. Inflation is high. Did you know that you could actually invest $60 a month when your kid is born. And by the time they reach 18 years old, they would have $27,000 in the account. And you would go like, yeah, but that's not a big deal. That's not even enough to, uh, you know, to cover college or anything like that. But here's the thing. If you literally stop contributing at that age of 18 and let that account be, so again, never make another contribution ever again. Did you know that that account can grow to over $1 million again by the time Junior is 65? <laughs> this is crazy pants, guys. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you need to start making your money work for you. Think about $60 a month. That's literally less than your cappuccino, your latte, your everything per day. What if I told you that Junior can actually do better and they could actually take over the account because once they turn 18, they will have a job. 
right? And if they start investing $200 a month, they would actually retire with $2 million in their account. So basically they will double the amount. They will double the million bucks. That's right. And this is by not lifting a finger, just investing $200, just putting aside $200 every single month. This is crazy pants. You don't need a lot of money to invest. Investing is how you get a lot of money. Don't you guys think that there is so much more to life than spending your whole life in a cubicle? Literally. And even if you spend the whole time in a cubicle, knowing that you're going to have a really good nest egg into retirement, I mean, this is the goal, right? So self-directed trading and investing is all about taking control of your financial future, managing your own money, and nobody can do it better than you because you're just an account number if you decide to have your money invested with one of the big companies. So make your money work for you. But let's say, you know what? Let's say you don't have any kids or your kids are right now like in their 30s or 40s and 20s. Hey, there's still an opportunity there to make even more money. So if you're late to the game, you could actually make your money work for you as well. How? Well, you don't have to look at that really long time horizon, but you're really gonna make your money stretch out and you're gonna make your money really in a cardio mode, work out in a cardio mode. They're gonna be working very hard for, uh, for you and not only that, they're going to build your nest egg, but they're gonna be generating income as well. So you could actually rip the benefits off of, those, off of that income. You could buy whatever you wanna buy, buy the car that you've always desired, get, you know, pay off your debt first, right? Uh, and then, uh, you know, start building, start building something else, start, start getting, just go on the vacation that you've always wanted, right? You don't have to be a math wizard. You don't have to be exceptional at math. And by the way, I'm not super fast with math. And I know it's like, what? You're not super fast with math, but you're day trading. I have my calculator here. And I've developed a method where I know I forecast where the entry is going to be. I always put in limit orders, right? Uh, where I want my entry to be, even when I'm day trading. I'm day trading, you know, a two minute or a five minute or a 15 minute time frame when I'm trading the five, 15 minute. I definitely have a lot of time, but I have my calculator right here on the desk. So I don't have to be a math whiz. I don't need to know any kind of sophisticated equations in order to make money. I just need simple, you know, uh, uh, simple, simple math, right? To find out, for example, what the risk is, the entry minus the stop. That's it. Uh, and you don't need to have a degree in finance either. You don't. You don't need to have that. So for those of you guys that don't have a nest egg, if those of you guys that are in the 40s, 50s, 60s, or even in the 70s, if you're listening right now, there is a chance and there is a very strong potential that you will be making lots of money. Every year, and hear me out, every year stocks will move about 20 to 30% maybe more each year. Where in investing, for example, if you have the money, right, to invest, um, and if you have contributed, if you have a 401k, or if you have whatever you have, a Roth IRA or an IRA, whatever you have, and you have been contributing, and for example, if you bought the mini S&P, which has a you know growth rate of about 8%, you're pretty much guaranteed over time that 8%. But Take a look at these numbers here because you can catch up in about five to six years and generate millions of dollars, if not even sooner. We have members that have done it. I have personally done it. I have you know, a really uh, cool story to tell because when I started day trading, I took out my retirement account and I wanted to make sure that I have at least a year because I knew that day trading is not gonna be easy. So I wanted to make sure that I have at least a year backup, an emergency fund, and I was basically living living off my savings. And not only that, but I opened an account with my savings, 
right? So I invested in my education from my uh, from my savings. So I pretty much, you know, kind of like, you know, got deep into my savings account. So I wanted once my day trading took off, you know, I started contributing more and I'm putting more I put more and I still do it to the very day. I put more into my swing trading account, into my investing account so I can build it up, build it up. Why would I need to build up my swing trading account? Because I want to have a bigger size, right? I want to trade a bigger size. All right. So the 20 to 30 percent or maybe more move can happen not every year guys but at least a couple of times per year and it happens in cycles what this is bananas yes 20 to 30 percent multiple times a year and i have my track performance my personal track performance here as well that i'm going to share with you and i'm going to share with you also the trades that i'm in right now does that sound fair everybody all right so let's take a look at the cues here okay this is a chart of the cues this is january 1st and as you guys can see um this chart basically uh i took the snapshot march 4th we're actually a little bit higher right now but until march 4th the uh cues and this is only one stock in our portfolio right was up 11 point eighty eight percent remember that the s and p you only have let's say s and p in your uh in your um long term account that is a about eight percent per year could be three percent in a year it could be negative in a year it could be twenty percent in a year it could be five percent so it averages that at eight percent in literally three months guys not even three months the queues are up eleven percent do you want to see more? Okay, here is NVIDIA. NVIDIA from January 1st all the way to this high right here of 80, 877 that was made on March 4th, 80% up. That's 10 times more than your 8% in the S&P. Do you guys know what that means? That you caught up with 10 years. That's right. You made up for 10 years. So if you have been dormant 10 years, if you haven't invested in the stock market or traded the stock market, if you bought NVIDIA, for example, on January 1st until now, this is another example. This is the second example that I'm giving you guys. 80%. That's 10 times more than the average S&P 500. Isn't this crazy? I don't know, but somebody needs to hear this. This is another stock that we have traded. We actually closed this trade. But we this was a mega trade for us. We bought the breakout, and here it is where it was. Not only that, but it had earnings and it pulled back to a minor support zone created by prior highs, along with the beautiful confluence of the rising 200 SMA. And I was at the trading room where we we're day trading, so we're not swing trading. But somebody brought it to my attention and say, hey, our stock, PANW, is making another buy setup. It's making another, it just, um, um, it's making another buy setup. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. So I came up quickly with the parameters and I said, look, and I haven't even shared this with my swing traders and my investors. I was just like, oh my gosh, we just got it taken out. Uh, long over 276. And this is a quick counter trade. This is a quick squeeze, right? Uh, 264.49 cents for the entry. The stop is going to be just below the 200 SMA. And we're going to be shooting for this 10 EMA in confluence with the prior high for the target. Bam. Do you guys want to know what happened? This is exactly what happened. We were up 18% in three days. That's right. 18% in three days. That's more than double the S&P 500 in a year. And this is in only three days. So money managers and hedge funds live mostly off commissions and fees. You're just an account number to them. Whether the stock or fund performs or doesn't perform, they get paid. And they get paid tons of commissions. Been there, done that. 
Did you guys know that Berkeley Hedge reported that over the past five years, the average hedge fund in its universe produced a net analyzed gain of 7.2%. And that is on the high benchmark because they're falling behind the S&P 500. They're underperforming the S&P 500. Let me share with you another example. This is a stock that I have been into, quick disclaimer, for a really long time. I have it in my investment portfolio. Um, I love it. I shop at Costco um, as well. So it only makes sense you know, to buy the stock as well. And it has gro great growth opportunity. So here it is from January. For, and by the way, this is a gorgeous pullback. This is a signature trade out loud pullback. Buy set up with trade out loud here. Um, and this is our entry, th uh, 656 and 20 cents. And from this entry all the way to the high on March 4th, this stock delivers si over 16%, double the S&P, double the S&P. What if, for example, you have, let's say, a um, $50,000 account, and what if, you buy, let's say your risk is $500. Let's say you, you want to be diversified, right? Because one stock may work, you may have another stop, right? What if you use $500, 1%, and buy the Qs, buy Costco, buy some shares of NVIDIA? You would be able to grow that account so fast. Let me share another example. This is Amazon. And again, this is from pullback rotation right here. Beautiful doji rotation, 146.60. And this is from January 3rd all the way to here on March 4th, right? The, and the stock is up 23.35%. So over 20%. Over 20%. So more than double, everybody. More than double. So like I said, be diversified. A little bit of Amazon, a little bit of Costco. A little, I'm not just saying to buy those stocks. I'm just saying to be diversified. But I'm going to be sharing with you the criteria on how to find the run uh, the runner ups, these stocks. So swing trading and investing is the easiest trading style to make money because it allows you to have a full time job, or even if you don't want to have a full time job, you want to enjoy your life you're retired, you want to travel the world, you can still have your money working for you because it doesn't require you to be in front of the computer. All you have to do literally every single day is watch the market for about five to 10 minutes to raise the stops or to place an entry. That's all you need to do. But you need to know and respect the rules of the game. You need to be very patient and wait for the proper setup because if you don't, and if you get in randomly and say, hey, I'm gonna get in, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna just get in Costco now, or I'm gonna get in and something that is into all time highs right now. No, you don't do that. You just have to wait for a pullback or you uh, are going to scan for a stock that is setting up. So it's not about the trades as much, but it's about the risk management. It's about how you um, position size, how you manage your risk, how you trail, because trailing is one of the most important things in trading along with position sizing because that is where the mass that's where the mastery is at how you protect your capital but don't take yourself out of the trade raise stop so you could just juice those profits up so why is it important to get started right now i'm pretty sure you guys know that our all our money that is sitting in an account in a savings account do you guys know of anybody that became a millionaire having their money in a savings account because i don't I don't. Do you guys know any millionaires that are like literally that are like, whoo, I have my money in a savings account? No, right? Because the money that is sitting in the bank right now is losing man uh, is losing value every single day due to what? Inflation. Like you go grocery shopping and you go like, oh my God, I didn't even buy like real food. You go for like some snacks or maybe some milk or whatever. You go like, oh my God, there's a hundred bucks. All right. So Let's clear it. Uh, let's clear it out and say who is swing trading for. This is for traders with really busy lifestyles that don't want to manage their money. Um, uh, that want to manage their money on their own and don't want any, any interference with any kind of fund manager. 
uh, any part-time trader that doesn't want to sit in front of the computer all day. Uh, swing trading is a wealth generation style. Uh, it could also provide cash flow, could also provide income, right? Uh, the life of the trade uh, is literally from about two days to about two weeks. And it all depends on the market environment. For example, if you have been trading, let's say in 2017, or, I'm sorry, in 2015, uh, to 16, where we had literally a year of very sideways price action, then you would be in trades a lot longer. But definitely, if you have ascending markets or even ascending markets, because in swing trading, in swing trading, you could actually go long and short and make your money work for you. So don't be afraid of recession. Yeah, you can short. This gives you the flexibility. So when you're swing trading, it's not like investing, right? But in swing trading, you have the advantage of taking in uh, 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 the advantage of uh, taking the short side as well. Where in investing, by the way, even if the stock goes down, so let's say you're in XOM, you're in Walmart or Home Depot or any other stocks, and you go like, oh my God, the stock is going down, down, down. Who cares? Because these are stocks that are paying you dividends. So what does that mean? That it means that they're paying you for keeping those shares that keeping keeping that slice in that company okay and because you're contributing every single month you're always averaging right you're always averaging and getting better averages or you're lugging into brand new trades a uh, biggest advantage is that you can work from home or on the go so it doesn't require you to have like a computer with 10 monitors no you can do it on your phone you could actually do it on your laptop you could do it on your ipad and this is how you make your money work for you. So I'm going to tell you very quickly five steps on how it can get started. Does that sound fair, everybody? All right. So if you guys have $50 laying around, this is what you can do. You can open an account. And by the way, you could open an account with Webull. Oh, my gosh. You could get started right there with 50 bucks. All right. And you could buy your first slice of company. You could buy your first slice of NVIDIA, by the way, because NVIDIA has not just triggered today or really we're just buy set up and just add. Can you imagine adding $50 every single month? That's really a dynamic option of uh, investing. Uh, or you can open an account with, uh, with TradeStation, with uh, Charles Schwab, Interactive Brokers, Robinhood Fidelity, with the broker of your choice. Step number two, determine your risk and your risk tolerance, obviously, right? So determine what kind of trader you are. If you are a more aggressive trader, then you're going to be applying, and I'm talking about swing trading, not only investing right here. Um, so if you're, for example, a little bit more proficient into trading, you could go uh, with 2% or 3%. If you're really at the beginning of your career, you could actually go with 1%. So determine your risk tolerance and your risk depending on your uh, personal tolerance as well because you may have like a five million dollar uh, account but you don't want to uh you don't want to risk fifty thousand dollars on a trade so that means that you're going to go way less maybe you're going to risk five thousand dollars on a trade versus fifty thousand right so it all depends on that personal risk tolerance as well not only on the standard uh percentage uh number three establish your game plan so what is your your game plan is your trading plan what do you need to do in order to get started you uh with with a stock for example or with an etf uh you need to know whether the asset is a uptrending or downtrending right you need a really good strategy you need to know where your entry is where your stop is uh where your targets are before you actually get into the trade and you need to determine your risk so you know uh, to make the calculations of the best possible outcome uh, in case your stock or fund or, or um, uh, ETF hits those specific targets. So it's all in the planning. Plan first and then execute. Uh, then you have to create your trading universe. You don't have to trade the 6,000 stocks that are super hot, you know, and scan them every single day. Just have a pool of stocks and make sure you get, uh, you uh, diversify yourself. I'm going to show you how diversified we are. We were as we were heading into this week of trading and many traders, you know, don't take a lot of risk into the FOMC meeting. But we were like kind of like pretty sure based on the numbers, based on the CPI numbers that came out last week, uh, that nothing really much is going to happen right? They're not going to be raising rates, dropping rates, or doing anything. 
So create your trading universe, be diversified, have some financials, some home builders, have some retailers, have some tech stocks, uh, have some um, whatever it is that you want to have, utilities, whatever it is that you want to have. Or you can choose stocks between, uh, let's say, within these stocks, depending on your account size, let's say um, we're, you're going to scan, let's say, from $5 to $55. So you can scan like that. So you can create a trading universe of preferred stocks that are trading within uh, within certain uh, within certain um, uh, parameter price parameters okay um, also create a trading strategy so the cra trading strategy is a little bit different than the trading plan because the trading plan lays out you know your whole blueprint but time to get narrow and time to funnel your attention into the preferred strategy whether uh, you want to, uh, you know, if the market is trending, obviously you're going to be looking for pullbacks. Again, don't buy into all time highs, right? Because your novices buy into all time highs. We don't buy into all time highs. We look for pullbacks. See what resonates with you. What kind of pullback? What kind of technicals you guys are using? Whether you're using, uh, you know, moving averages or Bollinger bands or whatever it is that you guys are using. Uh, at this moment, uh, you could actually continue on that path. So you don't change a thing if that system is profitable for you. For example, for myself, I like to see stocks that are pulling back into the 20 simple moving average or the 50 simple moving average on a much steeper pullback that I've showed you of what happened. Those uh, first charts that I showed you, we share, uh, we started the session uh, with, uh, uh, with them. So I like those shallow pullbacks, three to four bar pullback, uh into a 20 simple moving average for example price rotation so i want to make sure that the price action is proving that it wants to rotate and go higher i never buy off a of support i buy the reaction off of the support into a confirmation you could also trade counter trends like i showed you the example with the counter trend counter trends are very swift very quick so make sure you take your money and run and make sure you determine what stocks are going to be trading. So again, that trading universe is um, very, very important. So let's talk more about swing trading because, like I said, if you're late to the game, and I was late to the game because I actually chewed up a lot of my savings. Uh, so if you're late to the game, uh, there's a swing trading that can make your money work for you and can uh, can generate that um, not only that income for you, but it can actually help you. Uh, put more money into your investing account, make your money work for you, you know, put your money into some dividend stocks in case, you know, there's some turbulence happening into the market, you're still making money and you're generating income into your retirement age. Uh, swing trading is the sweet spot between day trading and uh, position trading, which is investing, right? So it's the sweet spot, it's not as aggressive, you're literally, oh, you're literally uh, not involved in the algorithmic action into day trading and you're not that laid back into investing meaning you have more access to your money so potentially every single week or two weeks or definitely by the end of the month you're going to have some cash at hand that you could actually pay bills do whatever you want with it uh, or save it uh, it generates high probability of uh, it generates high probability trades and offer the best chances of success the best return on your investment fast because that's what it's all about you need to catch up right so swing trading positions will be held for about two days to a couple of weeks when you are swing trading. And it focuses on uh, the daily and the weekly time frames. I mean, this is how I trade. This is my style, super simple style, very easy to apply. And it's based on a, a, a technical analysis. I would say 99.9% .9 technical analysis because that 0.1% represents the fundamental side. And basically it represents the um of um, um for example if you're in a stock um it represents that attention to the earnings calendar that's that's what it's about i don't take trades for example if apple was to report tomorrow or uh, on monday i would not be and if even if i had like the perfect setup into apple i would not get into apple right now but if i was in apple i would type my stops as we were heading into that um uh, as we were heading into those uh uh earnings uh, earnings yeah so swing trading is not about capturing the entire trend the very bottom or the very high no we're not ever going to capture the very bottom or the very high we want to focus on the core right we want to focus on a core we want to focus on a piece of action on slice so swing trading is a very simple strategy where you enter the trade when the price breaks above 
the pullback reversal pattern or breaks above the range. Also, the buy setup. Remember those ranges. There are tons of ranges, and especially now where we're going into FYNC, a lot of stocks were basing. Do you have guys look at Goldman Sachs that has been basing since December or November, something like that? Crazy. And it was basing, 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 finally broke out, right? So what are the most important elements of the trade? Number one is the entry, because that is when your, your capital is at risk and you're committed to the trade. Is the stop, because that's capital preservation, right? In case the trade doesn't work, you're going to stop out. Target, right? Because if achieved, you're going to accomplish the desired outcome. And of course, position sizing, share sizing. It's very important to have the same size on each and every single trade. Uh, I'm not going to get deep into that, but there's a reason to the madness. You have to risk the same the same uh, amount of money on each and every single trade and position size for that. Let me share with you another uh, trade that we got in right at the beginning of the year. And uh, here it is finally breaking out. It was in January. And I think that our entry was like really at the beginning of January. I think it was January 3rd. Uh, finally broke out and then it broke out even more after this. We're actually out of uh, of MPC here, but we make really amazing profits. And the, that is an example of a breakout because we have had examples of pullbacks. And that was a classic uh, example of a base. So how to select these winning stocks, right? Because you want to select, you want to have uh, the majority of your trades, winning trades and only a very small, uh, you know, percentage of the trades to have, uh, to have as stop out. Uh, well, it takes a proven strategy to select high odds trading and swing trading and, and stocks and ETFs. First of all, the stock needs to be fundamentally sound, long and medium, uh, medium, uh, medium, uh, medium uh, trading term. Uh, fundamentals have to be in line with technicals. And the five fundamentals don't freak out. I'm talking about simple earnings. Look at the past earnings and see how they performed. Uh, and if they have have a history of performing well, then that is a good solid uh, solid stock. So you don't have to overcomplicate it or overthink it. Uh, buy stocks that are on sale. Uh, that means stocks that are in a pullback. So when to buy? When events happen, you know, spooks in the market. When the market gets a little spooky, you know, and it pulls back, for example, you know, or you, when you have some CPI numbers that are pulling, you know, that are creating some kind of a pullback, a pullback PPI numbers or whatever it is in the market that is creating these pullbacks. Ideally, two to three, four uh, day, uh, days of pullback, then you are going to stop for that, uh, for that buy setup, for that, um, for that rotation. Um, so there are some other major events that create like massive uh, opportunities such uh and one of those was the dot-com bubble yes i was trading that 2008 financial crisis yes i was trading that i was the one that was buying with both hands towards the end of 2008 i was buying stocks that are, were undervalued for example like sirius satellite at the time sirius satellite didn't have any kind of competition i bought it for uh i, I bought some it was trading at 10 cents it was trading at 20 cents it was trading at 30 cents and guess what, guys? What is your risk per trade? It goes to zero, so your position size. So my risk per trade is 30 cents, right? My risk per trade is 30 cents. And I can see how many shares I can buy with my, for example, allocated risk amount. But here's the thing. Uh, you don't need these events necessarily to get in, right? All you have to do is everything works in cycles. The stock market moves up, it pulls back, depending on the news, and it just rips up again be super diversified stay away from high-risk industries like airlines hotels biotech etc it's fine to swing trade them ensure that you're way outside of their earnings uh cycle uh and you can just swing trade them i don't even really i'm not a really big fan of swinging swinging them either but anyways uh here is another example with uh google right here is alphabet pulling back one, two, three, four to the 20 SMA. This is my signature pullback. And by the way, if you're asking what kind of chart this is, this is a quarterly chart. So if I want to, and every single time when we turn another page on another quarter, I focus a lot on these quarterly charts because they're going to provide you some, um, you know, kind of like medium term, uh, medium to longer term trades. Now take a look at what happened here beautiful four bar pullback into the 20 SMA. You have the confirmation of the buy 
perfect rotation, taking out the prior high. So it proves that the price can actually go higher. Take a look at this one, two, three, four, five, right? And that is like, uh, that is like five quarters. It's not even like five months, it's five quarters. So you have the confidence to stay into these trades from the technical side. Always be in sync with the institutional footprint. Follow the cycles in the market. There's always going to be institutional buying, selling that creates the uh, the flow, that keep, creates the follow through. Don't go against it. Don't be stubborn and say, oh my gosh, the market is so extended, we're going to start shorting. Who are you with your $50,000 account or even $500,000 account or $50 account shorting the market? You're going to get whipped, right? You got to go in the dominant direction always because the current is set by institutional traders. All right. So uh, let, uh, let's uh, visit here another uh, another trade. Take a look at this breakout. We talked about buy pockets, right? The buy setups. Take a look at this breakout, right? We have two. Um, uh, we have a double top formation. Every single time a new trader uh, sees this double top, they go like, oh my gosh, this is a short. No, it's not. It's actually a range in formation. So you have to have a lot of time when you're identifying these double top formations. So here's the breakout that is happening right here. And look at the follow through. These are institutional, this is institutional money. All right. So when it comes to trading, no one has a crystal ball. It just works. It just works. 99% is technical, 1% fundamental. So let's take a look at my personal trading straight, uh, criteria um, that I'm going to be sharing with you today. First of all, you have to have a good history of earnings, three years minimum, or at least three prior quarterly earnings beat expectations. Enter trades after they post the earnings results. Don't rush into it. So always check the earnings calendar before you get into a trade. Buy companies that have really good earnings and sales post, right? By the way, quick disclaimer here, even if companies, for example, are hit with bad earnings or missed, uh, uh, missed estimates, guess what? Look at where they're pulling back because everything is so technical right now. Remember, 80%, I, I, I think it's like 85 or even more, 85% of the market volume is institutional trading. So you're going to get a lot of algos that are going to jump in on the opportunities to buy off of those support levels. Uh, focus very much on the technical chart. Trade with the trend, everybody. Don't go against the current. When you see the volume increasing, it means that institutions are lagging in. Any kind of spike of volume, it means that they are literally buying a lot of that, um, of a lot of that stuff. Uh, look for volatility contraction. Remember, the biggest action in the market comes from really narrow bars, not from the big bars, not from the bars that carry lots of tails. Tails equal volatility, high volatility. And look for institutional participation. Again, remember the increase in volume, the setup, the location, all these are going to contribute to the success of your trade. All right, so let's talk about this. This is another breakout right here. Look how long this stock has been basing. And by the way, Microsoft breaking out, breaking out again. It broke out yesterday, so now it's running again higher. So beautiful base with the breakout here. Look at the percentage, guys. And this is actually a daily chart. This is a daily chart. Take a look here. So in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 days, you have generated 10%. Should I remind you 8% per year for S&P? Crazy. All right, so let's take a look here at Microsoft. Microsoft 416. Does anybody know when where Microsoft is right now? I'm going to share a chart in a little bit with you guys. So number one mistake in trading. Think about this. A lot of traders just think, oh my gosh, all I need to do is just you know follow someone else blindly. I agree. It can be very helpful, but you need to have your own game plan. That's why I offered you today the recipe on how you can get started swing trading and how you can create your planning. So here are 10 ways to generate income swing trading. First of all, let the chart do the talking. Don't force yourself into a trade. And by the way, if you're looking at a chart, it's, no, it's not evident that that's an entry opportunity for you, then it's not. Don't overthink it because your brain is able to identify. Remember, trading is, trading is photographing memory. The brain is going to recall the setup if you have been trading for a while. 
Uh, it will remember setups that have a really high degree of working, the high possibility trades, and it's going to, boom, really show up. So when you're going to be able to see a trade, you're going to go like, man, this is it. I got to have it. I got, I got, I just got to take it. So for example, when I was sending the, uh, when I was sending the um, uh, stock swing trader video for my traders, I had a bunch of stocks on my hot list and I'm like, and I was going through the hot list with my traders uh, in the video. And uh, once I, I, I identify like two opportunities, there were two stocks and I'm like, no, I'm not going to be waiting for them. I'm not going to leave them on a hot list. We're going to, I, we're going to set the parameters here and straight. So to have them ready for Monday for Tuesday or whenever that was. So select the proper time frames for each style. Remember, if you're into like uh, two days to a two week hold, that would be like the sh uh, the short term swing. Uh, and you can apply that on the daily chart. If you want a medium of term swing, you could go as far as the weekly. Don't overthink, because if you're overthinking, you're forcing a trade. Um, be very good with technical. So be a technical analyst is very important because technical is where it's at. If you guys recall Kramer like a gazillion years ago, he would only just focus on the fundamental side. For the last uh, uh, 10 years, he has been technical almost 90%. And this shows you the change, right, that the market is having right now. Uh, with the algos, AIs, and all that stuff, it's going to just become more technical. So if you're a uh, you need to aim to be a chartist, like the, a very experienced technical trader. Always look at relative strength and relative weakness because that is very important. You want to be, uh, you don't want to go against the current. So if you have a very strong uh, uh, market, you want to look for stocks or ETFs that are stronger than the market so they could blast higher. Uh, go with the trend. Um, always, uh, you know, buying the dip is not a strategy unless, you know, you have the good technicals that are going to line up. And don't be stubborn in trading. So the art of making things happen, um, you know, tips from myself, do it now. So don't delay because procrastination is the worst. The, your biggest enemy is delay. Delay. Remember, if you haven't, ha if you haven't started investing in your early 20s or when you're 18 or your parents did it for you when you were born or if you're born in a trust don't delay you got to start now trust me when you start you know this is going to snowball for you uh learn to create wealth in swing trading and investing always and all it's very important to have separate accounts one for swing trading one for investing because when you're going into your swing trading account you're going to have your swing trading hat on so you're going to get ready to manage. When you're into your investing account, you need to take that hat off because you're really long term. You're looking like three years, five years or, or until targets are met. Uh, learn the art of charting because this is going to keep you safe. Learn investing to multiply your money over and over again. Understand the bow and arrow effect. Do you guys know what the bow and arrow effect? Like what do you do? Every single time, everything you do is a bow and arrow effect law. So what does that mean? If I want to start day, if let's say if I want to start day trading, because I started day trading like 20 plus years ago, I wanted to create income. What do you think I did? What is the first step that I did? I invested in education and I invested in tons of education. So I, and even with all the education that I had, oh my gosh, I still had a very hard a time the first year, right? Because you got to get used to it. So what do you do? You take a step back. So what did I do? I lost money first before I started making money. Okay, so question, uh, number one question people ask me, how do I get over my fear of trading or investing? Because everybody says like, oh my God, I'm so afraid to put the money into the market. Crossing the street is dangerous. Driving is dangerous. Drinking a glass of water is dangerous. What if you choke, right? So everything is dangerous, but if you have a calculated risk, nothing is dangerous. It's an assumed calculated risk. Number one, what did I do? I found a mentor, someone that has already achieved the results that I wanted to achieve and that was willing to show me how to get there fast. Collapsing time, right? Because I didn't I didn't have those 20 years or 30 years, right? In order to start going like $60 uh, per month, right? I need it now, fast. And then the mindset, eliminating all the limiting beliefs that you're not good enough, that you shouldn't love your money, that you hate all rich rich people, right? 
What is that? What, what is that going to bring you? And just execute it, guys. Just do it. I mean, this is a really good reason. First of all, I want to thank everybody for having me here today. And for you, I have, um, you know, my program, my exquisite program. It is the oldest program that we have. We have started Trade Out Loud with this program back in 2010. Uh, I've been trading long before 2010. Uh, this is the Stock Swing Trader program. Uh, you're, we are delivering stock swing trades uh, to all our members. It's a self-directed service. Uh, we will show you how to navigate the markets. We will provide you all the analysis. We will provide you all the trades, what the entries, the stops, the targets, and more so, which 99% of the traders do not do is manage the trade for you, show you exactly what you need to do, when you need to raise your stop, when you need to take partial profits and so on and so forth. It is a bargain, trust me, for $299 a month. Uh, this is the Stock Swing Trader and all you have to do is basically go to our website and uh, I could actually post the link right here for you guys if you're interested in joining. If you love money, you're going to join. Uh, and all you have to do is go to the services, Stock Swing Trader, and uh, you're going to find all the information here, uh, more about the program. And not only that, but you could sign up for monthly or the yearly. And uh, you can also see our track performance. Isn't this interesting? How? many traders out there actually have all the track performance and actually we have it from 2010 to present right here all the trades by the way these are going to be updated at the end of the month this is uh when you join you're going to get access to our real-time performance portfolio and this is where we post the latest trades you can see the trades that are bold right here they actually are uh, we actually still uh, we're still uh uh, we still have an active position. The ones that are not bold, we have closed the positions. And these are uh, the trades that we're in. Take a look at Microsoft. Remember that alert that I showed you uh, that dated from March 4th? Yeah, we have the patience to stay in it. And we entered that 416. And you can see here that we are hitting some several targets. Uh, these are the trades for March that we have. The bold ones are still uh, active right here. The 100% don't get spooked. This is just a calculation. It means that the trade is active and it's not closed yet. Once we uh, post the entry and the stop, it automatically goes to 100. You can see it here as well. Um, past performance, guys, I mean, take a look. To, uh, for example, in 2023, let me show you 2024, by the way. So in January, we closed with 77%. In February, we still, don't, we still have not closed. We still have some um, open positions. We will update that. For example, in 2023, where we have, because like I said, swing trades take from two days to two weeks, or depending on the market environment, you could be in for three weeks or even more. So in January, for example, last year, 55%, minus 36%, but take a look here, 39% gain, minus 10 here, 193 last May. Literally, this blasted, this put us like into deep green. We were like over 60%, 70%. Uh, including those losses from before, 117% here in June. Take a look at the 38% here, 16% here, minus 9% here, 87% here. And these are monthly records, 135%, 74%. So you get the idea you're going to get all these, uh, all this track record when you just log in, if you want to sign up and say, hey, I want to see the track performance, right? Uh, another thing is that you're going to get access to a private X feed and um, the private X feed is for members only. So don't give us any follow because we always get that after I show this. Uh, so don't try to follow because we have a verification process and uh, you have to uh be sure to um uh to be a member in order to gain access to it take a look at this stock right now like this is unbelievable i'm going to show you where we got in this stock right here this is incredible so in gps we got it at 21 dollars and 10 cents and did you guys see it it's at 27 dollars and 87 cents this is insane uh ilmn that is trying again we also post the active trades this is from this morning this is these are all the stocks that we're in um, ILMN Square, and by the way, these are gains 
per day, guys. Remember the 8% benchmark in SMP? Look at this. This is insane, right? All right, these are our stocks right now. You can see just two of them are in a mild red. Look at the percentage gains that we are having today. It is insane. It is absolutely insane. So if you guys are interested, go to our website. Um, and I posted the link right there. And uh, I don't know, get started if you love money. Um, and if you want to make some more money, this is the only way to do it. If you're late to the game and if you're not sitting on at least five million dollars you you got to start swing trading or you got to start doing something so thanks so much kate thanks so much everybody for having me here today i really appreciate it i really hope you guys are going to have a great rest of the day